Hi, I'm Daphne Richards and this is Augie. Our question this week comes from Aaron Lawler, who wants to know, what is this cool looking thing? Aaron spotted it while hiking the Hamilton Pool River Trail and measured it to be almost two inches wide. Well, Aaron, this really cool thing is an oak apple gall, so named because of its fruit-like shape and its obligate oak host. The structure is not a fruit, but it was created by the plant, although in response to one of a variety of pests known as cinnipid gall wasps. The wasp lays its larvae on a newly forming oak leaf, and in response, instead of forming a leaf, the tree creates this protective structure for the developing wasp. While the larvae is growing inside, the gall will be green, and once the fully formed insect emerges, the gall will begin to die, turning brown. This opportunistic insect really does no damage to the tree. The galls will fall off in time, and there will rarely be very many of them on the same tree at the same time. So if spotted on your trees in your landscape, just ignore the structures and know that nature is taking care of itself. Our plant this week is skeleton leaf goldeneye, Vigiera stenoloba. This delicate looking shrubby perennial is actually quite tough. Native to dry, rocky regions of Texas and New Mexico, skeleton leaf goldeneye thrives in heat and drought. Although it can grow in just about any soil, it prefers a well-drained, rocky area. If planted in soils with heavy clay or poor drainage, it might do well for a number of years until we get a period of abundant rainfall when it may crater and die. In warmer regions, skeleton leaf goldeneye will be evergreen, and if left alone, a single plant may grow to three feet tall and wide. But those plants will look scrubby and unkempt. Shear back hard each year in late winter to encourage a bushier, healthier appearance and more flowers each year. Listed as hardy only to zone nine, skeleton leaf goldeneye is more often perennial in most gardens and can be sheared to the ground each year. Plant in full sun and irrigate sparingly once established. This plant gets its common name from its sparse summer flowering habit when the leaves, at least to some, appear skeletal and the bright golden flowers are few and far between. But in late summer or early autumn, depending on rainfall, Skeleton leaf goldeneye comes into its own with brighter foliage and many more golden yellow blooms. The leaves contain volatile compounds that deer don't care much for, although they will eat if desperate. And the flowers are butterfly magnets, especially since they fully arrive at a time when other sources of pollen are waning. We've got some great viewer pictures this week. We all associate flowers with spring, but if we have something in bloom every season, we have a better chance of finding pollinators in our gardens. Last fall, Julie and Calvin Allison, near Blanco, spotted a migrating monarch on their Duranta. And in San Marcos, Laura Burns sent pictures of Gulf fritillary caterpillars, which are actually not eating the coral vine in this picture. Their host plant, passion blind, also grows on this trellis, and the caterpillars use summer and fall blooming coral vine as a highway to find a place to pupate. Laura even got a shot of a chrysalis near another caterpillar. We'd love to hear from you. Visit us at klru.org ctg to send us your questions, pictures, and video.